A family in Swindon has discovered almost 100 venomous spiders in their kitchen cupboard. One woman needed treatment after she was bitten by one of the false widows. Anne Farrant has been to see the family. A random trip to the kitchen recently for Ashley Murto and the discovery of some very unwelcome visitors. First I seen loads of shiny black bodies. I knew there wasn't normal spiders, so I had a closer look. I caught one at first and I took it to um, a pet shop to get it verified, which they verified it as a false widow spider. So then I contacted uh, a pest control and uh, they told me what to do initially. They, for, at first they thought it was one, one cupboard. But unfortunately for Ashley, the spiders had spread. It was time to get the experts in. We quite often get calls from people, we've seen a spider, we think it's a false widow, can you come and identify it? We'll look at it, and there may be two or three. Quite often in, in electricity boxes, uh, gas meter points, sometimes in cupboards, um, but generally not to the extent we found here. This, this was quite a high level of infestation. The family are now back at home. They'd had to move out for a few days while the house was being treated with insecticide. Ashley's mum, though, is still suffering. Well, I was helping to clean out the cupboard and uh, I felt a scratch on my finger. Uh, but little later on, I had a swelling come up on my finger. Um, then later on even in the evening, it got black, so I went to the doctors the following morning and got put on antibiotics. There are four different species of false widow in the UK, 650 different types of spider in total. But one expert says there's no real cause for concern. Now, they're everywhere. They're, they're in your gardens, they're, they're even in your homes. Only about 10 or 12 of them are big enough and strong enough to actually break your skin. So, so it's, it, it's a small group of spiders. And there's good news from George. If you're scared of spiders, we may have hundreds of different types, but no one has ever died from a bite, the and there are no uh, spiders in the UK that the can kill you. Oh, I'm itching. Well, Anne is with a spider expert now. Anne, where are you? I'm in someone's front living room in Bristol, Alex. Someone would describe, some people would describe it as their worst nightmare here. Have a look at this little selection. Lots of different species here. I'm actually with a chap called Mark Pyack, who's a member of the British Arachnological Society. Mark, you're involved in a project which is involved in mapping their distribution, where they are and where they live. That's right. The Spider Recording Scheme is a group of experts and members of the public and scientists. We go out to wildlife hotspots and everywhere recording spiders. And the fantastic thing is, every time we go out this summer, we find new species, not to science, but to that particular area. Now, we've had a very wet, warm summer, particularly wet, has that had any effect on spider populations? Well, as they're under-recorded, we're not too sure exactly what the effects are, but some species like it dry, like the false widow spider in your cupboard. Others, like the wrath spider, live in wetland areas and they need a lot of water. So it's getting warmer and wetter, good for wetland species, but with human development, there's much less habitat for them. So these things are playing out right now. Now, just before we go, Mark, you are, it would be true to say, obsessed with spiders. Um, have a look at this little person down here. This is Matilda. Uh, this is Mark's pet. And I think that I can guarantee that nobody in the West Country will find one of these in their beds tonight. Thank Thanks you very much. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> you'll know if I do, because you'll hear the scream across yeah. the West. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I suspect you would not set foot in that house. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I would never sleep again. Well done. If you uh, were looking away, you can look back now. You're watching Thursday's Points West with uh, Alex, Scaredy Cat Lovell and David <laughs> Garbston. Hope those spiders haven't put you off your teeth.